Once upon a time, halfway to the edge of a mid-sized galaxy called the Milky Way, there was for a brief moment a primitive civilization called humanity. The human being, as they were called individually, they lived in a delicate habitat at the very bottom of a fine layer of air only 60 miles high. There are many indications that these human beings at their core were a noble and selfless creature, but they'd been given desires and ambitions to power their little bodies through the challenges of time and space. And their frail spirits had too often been overpowered by their own fuel. As their technologies advanced and grew, they inflicted more and more damage to their precious home. One day, their leading scientists realized they'd only about 10 years left. The average temperature of their air was about to cross a tipping point. A code red for humanity, said their United Nations Secretary General. There would be worsening heat waves and droughts and downpours. There'd be fires, hurricanes, and more. Without immediate steep emissions cuts, average temperatures would soon rise even further to a point their world had not seen in three million years. When their oceans were 82 feet higher, the height of one of their seven-story buildings, entire societies would be submerged underwater. Now, the Earthlings were understandably very disturbed by this new report. They argued Radical about politics. who was more responsible Why are we doing and who was just generally a worse person. I gotta work with the reality. They argued about who should make the most money off this impending disaster, and they argued about the nature of the universe. Some argued that the unfathomable creator of time and space itself somehow did not create science. And so scientists were therefore likely to be lizard people sent to trick them. I am not a lizard. They didn't mind how crazy that sounded and how upset it made most people. In fact, upsetting people was kind of the point. You see, some human beings argued with others as a way of life. They believed cooperation was oppressive, an infringement on individual rights. Respecting each other regardless of differences, well, that would be an insult to one's superiority. And so they didn't want to get along. And they argued, and they argued, while the most cynical of them collected and sold all their arguments to advertisers. While the most unscrupulous of them used their arguments to amass personal power. While the greediest blackmailed politicians into meaningless half measures, imprisoned whistleblowers, and accelerated their mass extinction. But all was not lost. Halfway to the edge of their world, there lived a little girl. Thank you for inviting me. And she me. spoke in a wise and clear voice. And she called upon humanity to put massive pressure on all their governments to act. For if they did not take immediate and radical action, she warned, it looked very much like organized human life would within a few generations cease to exist. It was unclear whether or not humanity would stop arguing and listen.